Okay, so Math 9. Um, I did a review video for the um, surface area and volume of a triangular prism. So we're actually going to move ahead to the next section. And I'll get set up, I will. You'd think I'd have that done, but I don't. Um, so for the next section, they're talking about a pyramid. So a pyramid is what you think it is. Think about like, you know, Egypt and the pyramids. That's exactly what they're talking about. Um, so a pyramid can be made out of a rectangular prism. I'm still trying to find the page, guys. Sorry. It can be made from a rectangular prism because if you think about a rectangular prism, sorry. So you have something, something like that. You have a rectangular prism. If you were to cut off, like so on the front rectangle, here's the front rectangle. If you were to cut off all of this and you were to cut off all of this and you were to do that on the four sides of your cube and take the top off, and fold it in, you'd have a pyramid. So again, if you were able to on each, and so on this end, I would cut off here, I'd cut off here on the front, on the side, I'd cut off some, and then I'd fold in until the tips met, I would have a pyramid. So it's kind of related to a rectangular prism. But what a pyramid really is, is the bottom of it, the floor of it, is, um, is a rectangle. Um, there are triangular pyramids, but we're not going to do those. We're going to stick with rectangular pyramids, meaning that the bottom or the base or the floor whoops, is going to be a rectangle. The walls are four triangles. So if you're going to do the surface area of those, you, ha you really have to find the area of the four triangles and the area of the rectangle. So in example one, on page 272, they give you a pyramid um, and they tell you, and of course, me and my drawings, but let's, let's just, that's as good as it's gonna get for me. They tell us one side is seven, the other side is seven, um, and they say that going up the side wall of the triangle is six. So that is actually something called slant height because it's the height of the slanted side of the pyramid. It's not the height of the pyramid overall. The height of the pyramid overall would be from the peak straight down to the middle of the floor, right? Because you're gonna have this rectangular floor. So the height would be straight down to the middle of the floor from the peak. This is what's called the slant height. It's the height of the triangle. So if I wanted to find the surface area of this, there are five shapes. There is the rectangle that is the floor, and then there are the four triangles that make up the walls. Now, in this case, the base is, is a square. The base is the same. All four sides are the same, seven, 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 seven. So area of the floor would be seven times seven, which would be 49 square meters, right? Because it's meters times meters. Now, in this case, because all of the, all of the sides are seven and the slant height of all the triangles is gonna be the same because if one was taller, you'd have this peak sticking up here. 
they're all the same. All four triangles are the same. Now, that's not always going to be the case. Sometimes this side might not be as big as this side, and so the triangle on this end and this side would be different from the front and the back triangle. But in this one, the walls would be the it's a triangle, so we have to find area of the triangle. So base times height divided by two. So the base of the triangle is seven. The height of the triangle is six divided by two. Now, because all four triangles are the same, rather than do that four times, I'm just going to multiply by four. And so if I do seven times six, that's 42, divided by two, that's 21, and 21 times four is gonna be 84. Wow, did that in my head and everything. And so I'm just gonna add the floor and the walls together. Nine and four is 13, and that's 133 square meters. Um, and so that really is all you have to do. Find the area of the floor, find the area of the triangular walls and add them together. Volume. Volume is again very similar to a rectangular prism because it really is sort of a modified rectangular prism. What they've actually done is um, they've taken a rectangular prism, like I said, cut off kind of part of the pieces to make a point at the top and folded everything in. So um, if you have a pyramid, and again, mine are not gonna be great, but they tell us this side is 10, this is example two, by the way, this side is eight, and then they tell us a height, that is 12 centimeters, 10 centimeters, eight centimeters. And this time they want us to calculate the volume. To calculate the volume, because really a pyramid is very similar to a rectangular prism, Volume, remember what I said, volume is area of the base times the height. So the base is a rectangle. So it's area of the rectangle, which is length times width times how tall it is, so times the height. But we have to do something else with this because length times width times height is actually a rectangular prism. Well, remember, in order to make a pyramid, we had to cut off part of the sides on the rectangular prism, so there really isn't as much material there. So you're not going to fit as much because a rectangular prism has straight walls like this, right? It's got straight walls coming up like this. So there's all this space that the pyramid doesn't have. So how do I indicate that? Whenever you're trying to find the volume of a 3D object and it has slanted sides, the sides are not straight up and down, you divide by three. This will not be the only shape where we will have to divide by three. Again, if you have sides that are slanted like that, you are going to have to divide by three. So in example, oh, I erased it. In example number two, okay, the base was 10 by eight, and then the height, the height was 12. So it would be 10 times eight times 12, but then I would have to divide by three turns out that it is 320. And again, this is centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. So that would be centimeters cubed, okay? Um, one more example and I'm done talking. Um, example number two. They give
They give a rectangular prism. Okay. Something like that. And they tell us that it is six by five. I can't see, I'm getting old. Six by five by eight. Six by five by eight. So if I wanted to find the volume of this, because it's a rectangular prism, it's length times width times height. So it's uh, six times five times eight. So six times five is 30, 30 times eight is 240 cubic centimeters. And then they say, what is the maximum volume that a pyramid that would fit inside this, what would it be? So in other words, if I didn't change the dimensions, height is still eight, um, this side's still six, this side is still five. If I didn't change the dimensions, but rather than have straight up and down walls, I had slanty walls, which means I really have a pyramid here, right? I have a pyramid. So if the height was still eight, and this was still six, and this was still five, what would be the volume of this? So again, their point is just that it's going to be less than a rectangular prism that has the same dimensions because we have to divide by three because we took off part of the space out of the rectangular prism. So again, it would be six times five times eight, but I would have to divide by three, which should give me 80 centimeters cubed. All right, um, that's it. That's all I'm doing today. This is Thursday. So I'm gonna give you a few to try. Good news, it's big long holiday weekend. So this is not due until Tuesday. Um, if you wanna get it done and out of the way, for those of you who don't want it hanging over your head, um, good idea, do it tomorrow. Do it, well not tomorrow, do it today, Thursday. Um, but if not, you have until Tuesday to get it into me. I have a good Easter break. Um, it'll be different because you won't be going to church, etc. Um, but have a good Easter break. Spend some time, hopefully outside. It's supposed to storm today and tomorrow, but hopefully other than that, it'll be a good weekend. So we'll see you next week.